bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again. And welcome to French Hawes Beer Reviews. Wow. I'm Scott. I'm Jeff. Mr. Freeze has got a 12-ounce can of beer from, from Chico, California. Sierra Nevada. Yes. It's their Resilience Butt County IPA. Boot or butt? I don't know. Yeah. Boot in the butt. Yeah. It's 6.7 to 6.8%. <laughs> yeah. This can says 6.7. Online, we got 6.8. 65 Eboos. Uh, Dr. Wenzel. Dr. Brian Wenzel brought us this beer. I had been looking for this one, hadn't seen it. He found it in uh, Providence. Where? Providence, Rhode Island. Providence? Yeah. Ooh, is that like much darker? Is that like Providence? Kind of. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, this beer supports those impacted by the campfire wildfires out there in California. And other breweries, uh, it was kind of like an open calling for other breweries to do the same. And from what I have heard, hundreds of other breweries are doing this. Tag guy. You can Google, when I Googled the resilience, one of the autofills came up and it was a resilience recipe. Okay. So there must be, it, it, I didn't check on it to see if it was actual recipe. But yeah. I'm guessing it was. So it's an open, open, what do they call it? Uh, Invitation. No, you know, like when you programming and it's like an open program sure. where everyone can grab the information and use it all right it, it's there's a term for it uh chinook centennial and cascade hops are in this he, one he sands roads so. yeah <laughs> much darker than i thought it was gonna pour uh, not uh definitely filtered no uh particulates at all a decent head kind of hanging out on there and uh oh smells some mixed bubbles Smells well, skunky from here. Interesting. Yeah. Unless it, it's because I took my shoes off. I don't know. Did we put the air conditioning on back there? <laughs> Is the door open or something? Freezing. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we release videos at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Is it 4 p.m.? Eastern Standard Time. Oh, not Pacific Coast. No. If you have not subscribed to the channel and you, you like what we're doing we would love for you to, to join us hit, hit the thumbs up button and the no notification bell yeah share these videos do do it all share them. might as well if you're gonna do one thing do do everything can you close the fridge i know i'm cold i got a sweatshirt on too like, really what is going on all right the front door is gonna be open it smells skunky to me it does and uh it's it shouldn't be skunky it's in a can and it was brewed uh December 18th. Clearly, they didn't add any vitamin C to it's this. It's less than a month old. No vitamin C in this What, what else are you getting besides skunk? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Right now. <laughs> uh, <sighs> beer. It smells like beer. A little skunk. It's a little red, actually. Color wise. A little skunk. A little pine. Oh, a little look at that right there. Look up. That's kind of a cool picture. It looks like um, it's crystal clear. Dressing. It's crystal clear. Yeah. Um, a little pine for me and in, uh, in maltiness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't even know. What, I don't even know what to call it. Yeah. I was asking you about the aroma. I know, and it doesn't change anything. All right. It still doesn't smell like much. Cheers. Honestly, I don't fi find the fragrance that strong. Um, or the flavor. It's not bad. It's just... Uh, if I drank this blindly... Uh, I could drink this all night. It's very drinkable. Yeah, I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily be like this is an IPA. Yeah. Pale ale, amber, or regular amber, ale, like an English amber, ale, amber, amber like ale, a, yeah, ESB yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. Tasty, yeah. drinkable, like you said, but uh, 
IPA isn't really coming through for me. Yeah, IPA is a stretch. Ooh. Yeah, it's very malty on the back end for me. But I like it. Um, it's going to be a tough one to score because, uh, like I said, I do like it. I don't it. think it's an IPA, though. I do like it, but it, it's not um, not as advertised for me. Um, yeah, well, what are we tasting? A little bit of hoppiness. Not much. Medium body. Um, it's good, though. It is good, but it's going to get some deductions because... I don't feel it fits the style. Agreed. Um, which is too bad if they just had this as a... A pale ale or an ale, an English ale. I think it's more of an English ale or a red ale or a... Pale lager. <laughs> if it was a lager, I don't know if it was a lager. Mm. Yeah, I'm not getting IPA at all from this. All right, I get a, like a three, four on this one. All right. I'm going to go 3-6, uh, which will put, put us, us at, at a 3-5. A 3-5. Uh, now, if you had just given this to me as a mystery beer, I'd probably go a little bit higher. 3-8. Three, 3-7-5, three, seven, five, three, eight. Yeah. Um, because it is, it is very drinkable, and it's got a, a lot of flavor in it. It's just not... Um, what I would call a typical IPA flavor. Um, I was glad to get our hands on this, though. I hadn't seen it in the northern Rhode Island area. We just had to go a little bit further south to Providence to get that. You know, Dr. Wenzel was able to pick that up after work, so appreciated, much appreciated. Um, yeah, well, we're right on the money. Oh, good. No one checked in. No one, no friends rated it. 11,000 ratings from every, 11, every 11,000? Yeah, wow. from everyone else. 3.88. Okay. So I would say, yeah, it's a, a, exactly yeah. almost what we were saying. If you just rate this as a beer and not knowing what style it was supposed to be and this and that. Um, yeah. So a good beer. But don't expect it to taste like a, an IPA. Yeah, it's not like anything rejecting. It's just... Yeah, not quite an IPA. Right. But good. So, check us out down below. All our social media. Redbubble. Uh, it, Instagram, Instagram. And Twitter. Snapchat. And a lot of fun stuff. Break stuff. <laughs> right. Uh, resilience. Uh, IPA. From Sierra, Sierra Nevada. Nevada. Check it out. Good beer. If you're a big IPA fan, it's yeah. worth trying. Yeah, but you're not going to be like, oh, great IPA. Super hoppy. No, not at all. Uh, other than that, are we uh, still chugging these? Yeah. Okay. I only got a sip left. Okay. Thanks, guys. See you next Have time. Have a great night. I'm going to go this way. Ah, creep. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall Hundreds of bottles of beer Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hawk